こんにちは、サラです。So today I'm going to go through the Japanese words だから and から、uh, which according to one of my Japanese friends is something that a lot of foreigners have difficulty with using.、Um, so I'm going to tell you how to, how you can tell them apart. So だから and から both mean because and when you translate it to English, but there's a bit of a grammatical difference to how you use them in a sentence. So I'm going to explain how to use both the words. だから you use after a noun or after a n a k e o s h i So when using it after a noun, it's pretty straightforward. You just put だから after the noun. For example, I'm not going because it's raining. 雨だから行かない雨だから行かない The mountains are beautiful because it's spring. 春だから山がきれい春だから山がきれい So the second way to use だから is after a na adjective. Um, there are two kinds of adjectives in Japanese. Na adjectives, for example, genki na and kirei na, and i adjectives, for example, tanoshi and yasui. If you study Japanese, you've probably heard of these. You can only use takara after a na adjective, never after a, an i adjective. For example, I want to live in that house because it's beautiful. Sonne iwa kirei da kara sumitai. Sonne iwa kirei da kara sumitai. My grandmother can climb a mountain because she's healthy. おばあさんは元気だから山を登れる。おばあさんは元気だから山を登れる。You also use だから if you want to say because in the beginning of a sentence. から on the other hand, you use with verbs or with いけよし。So verbs is for where most people mess up. Um, a lot of people tend to use takara after a verb, but you can never do this. You can only use kara after a verb. So, for example, get ready because we're leaving. そろそろ行くから準備してそろそろ行くから準備して I study because I want to become smart. 頭良くなりたいから勉強する頭良くなりたいから勉強する So, earlier we said that、um, you use takara with nakeyoshi. But with ikeyoshi, such as tanoshi and yasui, you use kara. For example, I don't want to go home because I'm having fun. Tanoshi kara kaeri taku nai. Tanoshi kara kaeri taku nai. Let's buy it because it's cheap. Yasui kara kao yo. Yasui kara kao yo. You also use kara with negative form, even if it's a na adjective. You would never use takara with negative form. For example, その家はきれいじゃないから住みたくない。おばあさんは元気じゃないから山に登れない。So even though Takara and Kara are very basic Japanese, a lot of people actually make mistakes when using them. So I hope this video made you feel a little bit more confident in how to use these two words. えっと、これからも役に立つビデオアップしていきたいと思うので、登録お願いします。バイバイ。